What does it mean to be righteous? Being righteous means adhering to moral principles, acting in a just and virtuous manner, and conforming to ethical standards. It involves doing what is right and just, often guided by a sense of integrity and fairness. How can righteousness be obtained? Obtaining righteousness often involves cultivating a strong sense of morality, empathy, and integrity. It may include self-reflection, learning from experiences, and making choices that align with ethical principles. Many people find guidance in philosophical or religious teachings to shape their understanding of what is right and just. Continuous self-improvement and a commitment to acting with fairness contribute to the development of righteousness. I used to think that religion had answers to these questions, but their standards were much lower than what I wanted to obtain in life. I wanted to be the best person that I could be, so I stripped my mind from the limiting structures of religion. Ultimately, religion divides people, and I didn't want any part of that in my life. I found that if I just set my own standards for the type of person that I wanted to be, and documented that, filmed it, then I could reach those standards in my life. So I was the best person that I could be on camera, and I spent my life trying to be that person. On camera, I could control little worlds and ultimately control my future world because my future self listens to my past self. So my past self is always telling my future self what to do and how to exist and I just do it. I'm on autopilot, constantly listening to my past self in order to learn what to do with my time as my future self, which will again tell future Wendell what to do in the future. Building a life like this, you really become what you are and what you always wanted to be. You become the best self possible. We can never really be completely righteous, but we can be pretty close and that's what we're working with is degrees. Please do like the video. It lets the algorithm know to suggest it to other people. So it would mean a lot to me if you liked the video. The path to righteousness is supposed to lead us to righteousness, but we can never fully be righteous, 
So we're on this path for our entire lives, yet we're only becoming closer to it yet never actually reaching it. It's a self-improvement process. It refines you as an individual. Talk to me personally in my Discord server. Search for my video called My Discord Server and join. I would love to see you there. It's like sharpening a blade that can forever be sharpened. I was obsessed with righteousness ever since my childhood and religion just would not allow me to obtain it. I am a fallible human being, yada, yada, yada. I agree, I make mistakes, like believing in religion to begin with. But I can count my losses and move on with my life. I can learn lessons from initially believing the deceit. Yes, I wasted a lot of my life on religion, but I'm not wasting my life on religion now. I learned from my lessons. I can be the hero that I always wanted to be on the camera. I can be the star of my own show. Here is my righteousness displayed proudly to the entire world. And how did I do it? With a camera. You just brainwash yourself by telling yourself what you want to be and eventually you become that. These are my experiences trying to find righteousness. I'm sure everybody has a very different story to tell. Why don't you tell yours in the comments? Ultimately, what I learned is that nobody cares about my interests but me, and I had to protect my interests. I could not continue believing in this potential God that cared about my interest. The only one that's going to do anything about fixing my life is myself. No one else is going to fix my life, not even God. But that means that I'm responsible for my own life since I crafted the life that I live. I'm responsible to endure it. And that is good and bad. If I cause problems for myself or get involved with people that I shouldn't, then I have to live those outcomes. You don't need God to pat you on the back and say, there, there. You need to pat yourself on the back and say, there, there. God isn't 
going to pat me on the back or give me a hug. And if you live in the same world that I do, people are not going to provide that either. Our life is our own creation, and we are responsible for it. Sophia says to subscribe. But because we are responsible for the worlds that we create, we can create very beautiful worlds. Our only limits is our imagination. My path to righteousness really was a video journey because my ex-wife left me and I didn't know what to do with life anymore. Everything that I had come to love was taken away from me. But I had just started a philosophy degree. So my life reset upon philosophy. And what was I going to do to engage with that material? This is when my video logging started. I would use videos to learn philosophy very well. I would record what I needed to know and digest that content on camera. The result is what you see before you. But do not limit me. I know I can do better. If we're not learning from our experiences, then it's like we're dead inside. The path to righteousness is an individual movement. If a lot of people start following the path to righteousness, then it will be a collective movement. I appreciate your attention span. Until next time, this is Wendell, signing off.